Hey folks, Miguel here with DevilDog.Games. I uh, received a request uh, today from a customer who is new to 3D printing and really needs to know the basics of how to get a print uh, a file printed. So I'm going to walk through that really quick here. It's going to be super fast and uh, hopefully it won't take too much of your time. Um, assuming you've purchase the files from my website you will receive uh, zip files and so all you need to do is if you right click on those you can do extract all you can do extract here extract you know depending on on the tools you have on your computer you can just basically extract it or you can double click it open it and then click the extract all button uh, at the top and then it'll specify a full or it'll give you the opportunity to specify a folder location where you want to extract those. So once you've done that, um, let me go back here and I'll do the other one as well. So that was the base. We'll do 632 parts. Okay, so now I've got both of these zip files extracted into separate folders here. So I've got the parts on my uh, on my hard drive. So now I'm going to open up Chitubox and Chitubox is a software that you can download from Chitubox.com or uh, you just Google Chitubox, you'll find it. You'll have to set up an account to register uh, with the site and get the uh, the latest Windows 64-bit version of the download. Uh, install that and when you open it you'll have uh, you'll have something that looks like this. If you go into your settings, you need to make sure you have a, a printer configured. So to do that, you just click the settings button. You're going to click your add printer here. In the case of any cubic printers, you're going to expand that list and select your printer from the list here. In my case, it's a photon mono, but I've already done that, so I'm going to cancel that. So here's my photon mono. Now, to get started, you can just leave these print settings the way that they are. Don't tinker with anything. You can always come back, look at my settings, and, and copy those if you if you feel inclined to do so. You can do some Googling and find plenty of resources out there that will give you tips on uh, the best settings for what you're doing. Your printer, your, your application, whatever. In this case, we're going to continue to use the settings I already have. So, in the upper left-hand corner, you've got your Open File button. I'm going to navigate to where I saved those files that I just extracted from the zip files. And let's say in the base, uh, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab all of these except for the block. I have the corrected block in this zip package, so I, I only want the corrected block. And there, I've got all my parts. Now, each one of these parts needs to be printed in various orientations to get the best results. My recommendation, well, I shouldn't say it's my recommendation. You're going to have to figure out what's what works for you, but I like to print um, the blocks at 90 degrees. So I'll come up here and, oops, wrong way. I'll go 90 degrees. I'll do the, I'll do the um, belts and pulleys the same way. So I'll put those at 90 degrees because I want the, I want the detail facing up away from the build plate. Uh, I will print the timing cover just the way that it is. The two, I'm control clicking to select multiple objects. So if I click one object and I control click the other, I can get multiple objects. And then if I rotate those, I usually print these headers up on end like this. And then the same thing with my oil pans. I, I like to print them uh, in a vertical orientation. In fact, I'll just come up here and I'll just type uh, 90 degrees. So we'll just print it that way. With the heads, um, I usually will print those at 45 degrees. I'm going to delete this oil pan because I already have the oil pan I want to use over here. Um, I'm going to go grab some more parts. So from the 632 parts, I'll grab the oil pan and uh, valve cover. Actually, I'm going to delete this oil pan that I created over here because I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to print this one in a uh, vertical orientation. I'm going to do this at 45 degrees. Now, because I need two of those and I need two of those heads, I'm going to control click the head and the valve cover to select them both. And I'm going to come up here to the copy button and then I'm going to have both of those. So I'm going to organize my print the way that I want it. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put these headers together or orient these. 
or position these in a way that lets me get them all here. Let's see, I'm going to fit this in here like this. I'll put this over here. Now I'm going to click the Select All button. I have all of them selected, and I'm going to copy. So now I have two of everything, and it's in the same orientation that it is. Um, I will then select all, go to my Supports tab. From here, I'm going to select Light Supports, use the default settings. You can see mine are tweaked slightly. Um, so make sure your Add Support button is selected, and then click the Add, the All, Add All button. And it will automatically come in here and add your supports. <clears throat> Come on. This is a new version of Chitu Box, so hopefully it looks like it's freaking out a little bit. I'm going to re remove those and try that again. Maybe it doesn't like the angle. Yeah, look at that. It's really it's freaking out on those. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go. I'm going to manually add these just for expediency so I'm going to switch to the ad, or make sure I have add selected and I'm going to start adding supports here and I'm going to load up towards the bottom because that's you know where it'll print first and then I'll just add a few up here this is probably going overboard probably don't need this many but that's fine so here we'll add one more here Closer to the build plate, I tend to add more supports just because um, you get warping and such. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that was a lowered section. I'm going to clear those. That's not where I want them. Let's see. I'm going to... Yeah, see, see how there's like a, a raised section on that? I'm going to move this one over to here. Move this like this. Gonna switch to add. And then we'll add a few here. And then this'll this'll help quite a bit. So from here, we don't need as many. This is way too many supports, but you sometimes you just can't go wrong adding enough. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to the uh, main screen. And so that I don't have to, so that I don't have to uh, do those supports twice, I'm going to uncheck my select all and then delete those two and then come over here, grab these and then copy them so that I get my supports. All right, so now I'm going to select everything again. I'm going to use this organize auto layout button just for sake of convenience. It'll automatically put everything in the build, in the center of the build plate. And then I'm going to click my slice button. The slicer will take eh, 20 or 30 seconds here. It's not it's not long. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, and that's completed. So now I'm gonna just scroll through here and and see if I see any problems. As you get more experience with printing, you'll start discovering things like islands that you missed and uh, and whatnot. But I'm gonna go, not go into too much detail uh, for that. I'm gonna click my save button, go to my USB thumb drive that came with my printer. I'm going to give it whatever name I want to give it, and then I'm gonna save it to the thumb drive. This will take a little bit longer. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, it shows your exposure time for your normal layers, your bottom layer exposure time, 
over here on the right it shows you the expected durations so looks like this one says three hours and 27 minutes and eight seconds up here in the upper right hand corner it's 819 layers so you're all set now take your thumb drive plug it into your printer hit that print button and you should see this in your uh, in your object selection for printing now one thing to take note of is when you whatever the orientation of your build plate is while you're doing all this that's the picture that will show up on your printer so my 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 printer when it gives me the little icon for the object I'm printing it will look just like this however this orientation was when I uh, when I went through this process so just keep that in mind hope that helps everyone have a good day and let me know if you have any questions take care